to creating the proposal in Module B. Now, I'm going to show you how to create the proposal in Curriculumet. Now, I'm going to show you in the live site, but I want you to create it in the developmental site. So please use the link on the content page. But when you get ready to do it for real, open up your internet browser, go to faculty and staff, and then down here on the left-hand side is Curriculumet. So open it up, put in your username, which probably is going to be your network name, but your password is not going to be your network password because I don't know what your password is. So use your department code. Once you get to the home, Curriculum at Home, go down under Create Courses. Now remember last time we said you were creating the proposal. So even though we've started it and are going back, we go under Create Courses. we have a list of my courses that we've worked on. So go down to the course that you are working on. We're working on Welding 107, the pending file, because remember when we copied the active file, it made the pending file. And click on the pencil. That takes us to the course file. So we wanna to go to the cover screen. We wanna leave the prefix as it is, if we wanted to change it, we click on the drop down box and pick the one we want. We want to leave the number as the same. I'm going to put a hyphen in between entry and level. And then we want to put in our draft course description. Okay, so I have my description in. Remember, it's three to five sentences long. And then we put the codes at the end. The 12 means it's an occupational course. The lecture and laboratory hours are the contact hours. Now, right now, we don't know if there are any prerequisites or co-requisites, so we're gonna leave that blank for right now. So we're going to put in a proposed start date. We already have the PCS code as the occupational code. It's not an adult ed course, so we leave the no. And also, it doesn't have another course under different prefix and number. So I'm ready to finish out the screen. Now, if I'm not sure about this description, I can save the, the screen and it'll save my work and I can go on to a different one. But watch what happens when I hit finish. Here's the cover, it's blue, and here it says the cover page has not been marked as finished. When I finish it, 
This turns this to green, and that sentence goes away. This is important to know because our goal is to get all of these to turn green. Now, if, if I wasn't sure about the description and I wanted to come back with it, I would save it and leave it blue. If I'm done with it, then I'm going to turn it green because that'll tell me what I need to go back and work on and what I'm done with. So thank you for working through this, these modules. Please do the evaluation and the survey and also the extended practice and the scenario. Thank you.